So it's only been about 24 hours since we finished the Sheep Mountain 50 miler. Or if you know Sherpa John HPRS events, 54 miles or 55 miles. Um, excellent run, fun, hard, demanding, tough, hard, demanding, tough. Uh, really test you. I uh, pulled out a 16 or 1540. Matches about last year, maybe a little five minutes less. Uh, but there's two more miles this year, so I feel a little uh, happy with my performance. Plus the fact that I just had surgery two weeks ago, so this is the longest run minus my eight little mile jaunt that I did the other day. Um, yeah, great race overall. You know, I give a definite thumbs up. Um, I put together a couple of videos for you to watch. You can watch how the strategy changes along the way from kind of hoping to be middle of the pack to uh, DFL, uh, dead freaking last. Um, but hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the views. Uh, you can get feedback, anything like that, let me know. And you can check out Sherpa John's events at HPRS um, on the web. Or you can just go to my blog spot and I'll put a link there. All right. Enjoy. Behold, Sheep Mountain. I might be close to the back. There might be four people behind me, or two, or no one. We'll see how it pays off. There you go. It's nice scenery. Six miles in. Loving it. Don't worry, I got video of you guys. Oh, GoPro. Oh, you've got a GoPro. Here sounds good in my mind right now, but no one can do it. Maybe at 45. I forget where Steve had his fireball last year at that one aid station. Yeah, so I came through there. I was feeling like shit. Steve's like, here, drink this and sure. And then he gives me a shot after the bottle of insure. Yeah, I felt like I was pregnant going down that rocky hill. Yeah, she lives in uh, Fayetteville. Actually, it's right down there. 
So, about 11 and a half miles coming out of tree line. Not much running right now. A lot of gorgeous views. Wait till we hit this corner. Coming off the mountain. No clue what this guy's doing up here. Maybe he's lost. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, just capturing some of his beauty. So right now we're about three and a half hours in, 13 and a half miles. I feel really good except going down this trail. But it's easy to start wanting to get out of your head of yourself, not maintain your pace. But you gotta remember. Sure, but set this up as 50 plus. So we're gonna run 54 miles today. So I got 41 more miles to digest. So as the saying goes, nothing like finishing last last year. But 
will uh, hopefully be towards the middle of the pack and uh, have a nice cold one after this. See you in a little bit. Enjoy the view. There's a round hill. We'll be going up that in probably about three hours. Lord, I need a sled for this. I know, it's why it's the Rocky Mountains. So, about 19 miles in. I feel a little pain in the right ankle, but overall, I not had a bad pace. About four hours and 44 minutes. Uh, still beautiful. Going up a little spur if I don't break my ankle. Another rest stop coming up in about three miles, four miles. And put a little tape on the ankle. And get some good food. Ciao. So right now we're in the aspens. You can see the trees. Love them affected by this beetle virus ruining these aspen trees. What's that? It's killing them. And next thing you know we'll have a fire. So right over there, that's where we're going. Round mountain, round hill, whatever you want to call it. That's where we came from. Uh, three miles till we get there. So, mile 33 and a half. You can tell what we're doing right here. I dropped you, sorry. We're walking. Everybody we pass is past us. It's got a bloated belly. Bloated. Don't feel good. But, we're gonna finish. So, see you later. Oh, my shafts. All right, coming up on mile 37, going down some uh, nice rocky trail. You can see, feel a little better. Stop, had a bunch of watermelon, some chips, some water. Uh, I think I overloaded a little bit on the tailwind. Still got like a bloated belly. So, hopefully I get to the car. Steve's out here. Give me a little uh, Coca-Cola. Um, yep. Still gonna make it happen. I'm still in the middle of the pack, even though I'm sucking like a champ. Champ! Oh! All right, here we go. All right, hey Steve. So what did I look like up at the top of the hill? Baby treats a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby treats a diaper. All right, rebound time.
but we're probably less than 12 miles away. We got a small little climb up some of Sheep Mountain that we, that we ran up earlier. You might remember that beauty. Here she is. I don't think we go up too high, but it's gonna get gnarly. We'll probably go up to the tree line that we cut right. So wish me luck. Okay, here we are again. We got about 10 miles to the finish. Two miles on the next station. station. And uh, yeah, made up some ground. Probably better. I run a little more. Worked out the stomach bug. Not very pleasant. Broke a pole. But you know, when you're dealing with this stuff, it's easy to do. Bye bye, Sheep Mountain. And there we are. Six miles left. Ready for this to be over. So ready. But I feel better. Getting up for a beer after this. Or two, but uh, yeah, let's push it in. All right, so update it's getting a little cool out, still got about six miles left. But the person that finished last gets a bottle of whiskey. From what I can tell, I've got one, and there's two coming through the gate back there behind me. I think uh, they cut everyone off from the, the last aid station. I got their five minutes to spare. Well calculated, well planned out. Probably not, just lucky. But anyway, uh, let's see if we can get lucky with this bottle of whiskey. We're gonna walk that downhill. Oh, you see that deer way down there? That's a big old deer. Steve, I don't, yeah, he's taking pictures with it. This is the aftermath, the carnage. Camping spot. Sheep Mountain.